Now we are going to see how to combine our pizza and burger reducers. So for that, I will come on top. We have already accessed our Redux library and from there we got access to create store method to create the store. Similarly, Redux store will be providing another method combined reducer to combine our multiple reducers. So first I have to access that method. Here I will write const. I will give the variable name as combined reducer. You can give any variable name is equal to now from Redux package. I just have to access this combined reducers semicolon. First we have access create store to create the store. Now we are accessing combined reducer to combine our multiple reducers. Now where we have to combine our reducer before creating the store we have to combine the reducer why because inside this create store we have to pass one single reducer function i will remove this entire thing above this i will be creating the variable as root reducer you can give any name but combination of both the reducer i am just going to define as root reducer i will change the spelling is equal to combined reducer and this combined reducer accepts an object okay simple enough before creating the store we are going to use this combined reducer method which will be accepting object and inside this object each key represents our reducer so here i will write pizza key and for this i am just going to pass my reducer name as reducer pizza this is my pizza reducer for which I have given the key as pizza. I will write here comma. Then for burger, I will give the key as burger. Then here, I am just going to write reducer burger. So inside this combined reducer, each key represents our reducers. Now, both the reducers I have combined and I have stored inside this root reducer. So now easily, I can only pass this root reducer. Okay, instead of passing both the reducers, what I have done, I have just combined the reducers and inside this create reducer, I have just passed my root reducer and this root reducer contains all my reducers available in my application. Save it. Control J. Previously, we had this error. Now, if I do this, you can see successfully, I am able to get initial state based on the dispatch. First, my initial state will be displayed. Then I am dispatching the action. So accordingly, my state values will be updated. But what is different is our overall global state object is changed. Now if I want to access pizza base, I have to specify state.pizza.pizza base. Because inside this you can see now I am having this key. And similarly, if I want to access burger, I have to write state dot burger dot burger buns and this pizza and burger are the keys which we have specified in our root reducer function and we already know if you want to give the same property name copy and here paste save it let me just copy this I will paste again I will do now instead of that pizza and burger I will be having this key names and in object, if property and values are same, then we do not have to mention these properties. We can simply write the values. If I do this, then let me show you the result. Again, I will be having the same result. You can see reducer pizza, reducer pizza. Why I am having these values? Because now this is the key as well as this is the value. So that is the reason my global state will be represented in this way. So, I always prefer using this simple keys. So, for reducer pizza, I passed pizza. For reducer burger, I passed burger. Now, if I execute, now here I will have pizza. And inside that, I am having my pizza base. Now, I am having burger. Then inside burger, I am having burger buns. And once the state is updated, based on the actions dispatched, my values will be updated. Now, 
one important point you have to understand we are dispatching the action once we dispatch the action our reducer will handle that action but now we have combined the reducer inside this loop reducer so what happens once we dispatch this pizza action both the reducers will be taking that action the difference is one of them will accept the action and one will just ignore that action now we have created separate reducer so each reducer will be managing their own part of the global state and also when our app grows in size we can keep different reducers and state in their own files and keep them independent by managing their different state but as of now entire code we have written in one single file later when we start redux with react we are not going to write entire thing in one single file for each and every functionality we are going to follow the folder structure